So Graham saw something pretty cool in this formula. Take a look. He sees that you can determine the speed of the gas by the square root of 3RT over molar mass. But hey, if you have two different gases at the same temperature, the only difference in their speed is going to be, at the same temperature, how big they are in terms of their molar mass. So the larger the molar mass of a substance, the, if you do the calculation, slower it goes. The bigger something is at the same temperature, the slower it goes. That makes sense. Okay, so Graham came up with a law of effusion. And this is what he said, and it's quite fascinating. That if you want to determine the rate of a gas compared to another gas, let's say the rate of gas 1 over the rate of gas 2, compare the two rates to each other, well then all you have to do is know the molar mass of gas 2 and divide it by the square root of the molar mass of gas 1. You'll be able to then determine that rate. Or if you know the rate, you'll be able to turn mol determine molar masses. You see? That's clever. So if you have an unknown gas, you can actually calculate its molar mass and then figure out its formula if you know the difference or what this rate difference is here and you know one of the molar masses of the gases. Okay, so let's just look at this. If you have hydrogen gas, and you want to compare it to the speed of hydrochloric, well it's not a hydrochloric gas, it's hydrogen chloride gas, what you'd want to do is take the molar mass of the HCl and divide it by the molar mass, and it's the square root of both of those, of the H2, you see, and this one is going to be faster than this because it's a lighter gas. So we take the heavier molar mass, put it on top, that gives us the ratio here, and 4.25 is actually the answer. This gas, H2, at a given temperature, will actually travel 4.25 time, times faster than the hydrogen chloride gas. That's pretty cool.